Life is not always fluffy bunnies and rainbows and neither is business, but I'm gonna give you some tips to help you along the way. A warrior, an athlete, and a farmer. These are three things that we need to engage our mind, body, and spirit with every single day to become the person that we wanna be. I recently heard that there are three aspects that make a man. And in this case, we will equate that to business. So there are three aspects that make a good business owner. A good business owner is a warrior, meaning that he is always prepared. He's always wearing his armor. He's always got his weapons. He's always got them cleaned. He's always ready for battle. So as a business owner, you need to be ready every single step of the way to do the things that are necessary to accomplish the task. The next thing is a business owner has to be an athlete. And what I mean by that, an athlete is always improving, always getting better, always honing in on their skills always becoming a better person for tomorrow so that they can defeat the enemy win the battle do whatever they need to do to win the fight and the third thing that a good business owner needs to be is a farmer now one of my friends shared this story of his grandfather used to be a grape farmer and as a farmer basically what you do is you put all of your seed out there you tend to the field uh, and then eventually you harvest the crop and then when you harvest the crop, you get a profit from that crop, and right away you reinvest that profit into next year's crop. You buy the equipment necessary, you buy the seeds necessary, you get the fields ready, and you do what needs to be done in hopes that next year's harvest will be great. Now you're doing all of this not even knowing what the price of grapes in this instance is going to be next year, but you're already investing all of your money into that. See, a farmer, what a farmer does is they're always hoping for better things to come. They're always hoping for the next stage of life to be better than this current stage. They're hoping and they're, they're having faith that the harvest for next year is going to be greater than the expenses that I have to put into it to get to that harvest. So as a business owner, you need to be a warrior. Always be ready for battle. Always be honing in on those skills and you have to be an athlete. You always have to be getting better at what you are doing. One huge thing that I do to kind of become a better person is I have joined a men's workout group. That men's workout group is called F3. F3 is nationwide. It's actually in other, it's in other countries. So I would highly recommend you check it out, f3nation.com. That's something huge that I do to keep myself getting better each and every day because it surrounds me with other men. It's got good community, good fellowship, and it's a solid workout. Another huge thing that I do is I stay engaged in church. Uh, me and my family, we attend church every Sunday. We also go to small groups throughout the week, and that has been super beneficial to basically our mental being. Another huge aspect of being an athlete in business perspective is constantly getting better and honing in on your business skills. One thing that we shared on yesterday's video was we shared our Handyman Academy. So we have a coaching program where we help people each and every day either start up handyman businesses or grow handyman businesses with employees. And I would highly recommend that you check that out. You can check that out over at handymanjourney.com slash coaching. Be involved in some sort of group that pushes you and makes you think about things that you don't necessarily want to think about, things that are hard, things that challenge you, things that shape you into the person that you want to be. Surround yourself with people that are ultimately better than you. Surround yourself with people that have more money than you. Surround yourself with people that have a bigger business than you. Surround yourself with people that are going to press you to become a better person each and every day so that you can be a good athlete and you are always getting better and preparing for the next stage in life. And then a farmer. I think that this aspect is so huge and so massive that I think a lot of people miss out on it. I wanna interrupt this video real quick and let you guys know that I have created an Amazon store so that you guys can see all of the tools that I recommend as well as business books that I highly recommend. The tools is quite interesting. As I was building that store, I realized there's a lot of crazy tools that I've really come across in our seven years in business. So check that out. I will put a link in the description below where you can check out that Amazon store, see everything that we recommend. And also, I wanna let you know so you don't forget, you can schedule a free consultation call with me uh, at handymanjourney.com slash coaching. I look forward to talking with you soon. Let's get back to today's video. Is you have to constantly be thinking about the future. You have to be thinking about the future, but you also have to be living in the present. You can't live in the future. You can think about it. You have to prepare for it, but you can't live in it. You have to live in the present. You have to do what needs to be done now so that hopefully 
the future will be better off. And, but you have to, I think that this farmer mentality is really more of a belief than an action. It's a belief that tomorrow can be better. It's a belief that next year can be better. It's a belief that there may be slow times right now, but what can I do? That's where the athlete comes into play. What can I do to make it so I'm not so slow in three months, in six months, in nine months? I love a quote that my wife sent me the other day. It says, uh, the pessimist complains about the wind. The optimist expects the wind to change, but the leader adjusts the sails. And I think that's really what the farmer is about. It's about seeing what's ahead or trying to predict the best possibility of what's ahead and how do you shift things to make it so that you can have the best outcome at the end of the day. But I think having the belief that tomorrow will be better than today is really what it's all about. It's having the mindset shift that tomorrow can be a better day and how can I maybe adjust the sails a little bit to help that day become a little bit better than it is today. So like we said at the very beginning, life is not always fluffy bunnies and rainbows. Business is not always fluffy bunnies and rainbows. But by applying these three aspects, the warrior, the athlete, and the farmer, we can better prepare ourselves to become better people Maybe not necessarily today, but we can. what we're doing today will affect the person that we are gonna be tomorrow. So by implementing these three strategies, we can help ourselves tomorrow become a better day, a better person than we are today. Well, we made it day 50 out of 100. Super exciting, and I really appreciate you guys sticking it in with me. We got another 50 days to go. So if you guys aren't tired of me yet, stick around, subscribe to this channel, and like this video. I would absolutely love to hear. Man, when you guys drop me a comment and just say, hey, great video, appreciate your insight, that really helps me out. It really encourages me uh, because you guys may not know it, but talking into a camera can sometimes be a little lonely. So uh, drop me a comment, let me know you're watching, check in, drop a good word of wisdom, and we will see you guys on Monday for day 51. Enjoy your weekend, everyone.